So welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at a, uh, I guess it's a, it's a second edition. Well, it's a deluxe edition, that's what we'll call it. So it's, it's a new title, it's not new though, um, a new product from Worthington, and it's Victoria Cross 2. So Victoria Cross 2 came out um, a number of years ago. It was a very popular solitaire war game. This is basically a reprinting, except they've um, maxed out the components and made it really, really, really nice. So it is a deluxe edition, uh, but it's the same game as you had if you had the old version. So there's two battles in here. It's Rock's Drift and it's um, East Anawana. So, as you can see, it's very, very pretty looking game. This is Bumper, this is a sleeve, which we're gonna slide off, but I'm a huge fan of the artwork. I just, it just looks very nice. So this is just a card sleeve, just to be nice. And the box itself is a nice thick box. Okay. So the first thing we have in here are some of the counters. And you can see here, so Worthington makes um, games, their games are typically um, pre-rounded. It's these, these die-cut counters. They just punch right out. They don't have any kind of nibs on them or nubs, anything like that. These are very, very cleanly cut, and they're also very big. These are one-inch counters, and so then there's these huge, almost one-by-two-inch counters for the Zulu Warriors. And there's a whole bunch of these. Whoa, you okay. I just moved it and they're kind of falling out. That's how well these are cut. You're, you're not gonna get a, if you shake it, they all fall out, right? So if you're opening this in the car because you're excited on the way home, just be careful. But yeah, these are, these are really, really nice counters. And just, you know, how cool are these huge counters gonna look on the table? That's gonna be awesome. And we have, uh oh, just picking it up, they're falling out. These are different strengths. We have the ones and twos there. We've got twos, fives, and tens. There. I don't know if these are placed face down, so you don't know what they are until you find them. Unsure about that one. But that's, sometimes that can be what they do when you have one side blank, but it has artwork on it at least. Some leaders. Yeah, that's definitely the case. These are going to be hidden forces. Oh, it's a leader and he's commanding five, five strength points, right? But on the board, you see this. Well, it could be that, or it could be, you know, a couple of ones, you know, a couple of nothings. Nice and easy to find, so. Those are neat, and they obviously <laughs> punch and fall out very nicely. Then we have our um, British troops down here in red. And it looks like you've got a couple of leaders here with a little green background. Got some... Uh, some medical staff there as well. These are the two strength side, a reduced one strength side, I guess. And then we have more and more and more of those. This is 124th rifle. And it looks like it's Company A, Company C, F Company, E Company. Again, a ton more. Zulu Warriors as well, and some ammo markers as well. So there's three sheets of these counters. Very easy to punch and clean those up. No corner rounding or anything to do. So we have Victoria Cross Deluxe Edition rules. This is 14, 15 pages of rules. But this is examples, examples. Uh, is that a Okay, so really, it looks like there's 10 pages of, really 11 pages of rules at best. And that you can play it two player, I guess. It's a two player game, but then there's solo rules, and I know a lot of people play this solo. So, I guess it does, it does do two play as well. We've got two identical copies of the rules. Rock's Drift, and Isan Luana. Yep. So, two copies of the rule book, so you can each have one. That's nice. And this is the the Zulu bot for the uh, East Anawana scenario. Do we have one for Rock's Drift? Yes, we do. 
So this is the Sulu. Okay. So this is just the solo bots for each of the two scenarios. Then we have a regular play aid as well. And then we have it looks like a turn track. Uh oh, if I can pull this out. Uh oh. So yeah, this is dual sided. So you got Rock's Drift and he's in Luana. So Rock's Drift, this is what you see in the movie Zulu with Michael Caine and the star studded cast they have. And this is that. If you want to play this and listen to the soundtrack, that's going to be super fun. And this is the Isan Luana tracks turn track. Zulu strength points eliminated this turn. If you eliminate 47 in one turn, they lose a VP. That's nuts. And Zulu victory point track. And then we have, let's see, the board. If I can get it out. It's kind of a tight fit in here. There's not a lot of wiggle room. And that's because at the bottom they have this really nice tray. And we'll get to that here in just a second. But the map, this is obviously a mounted map board. That's one of the really nice uh, parts of this game. So we have, uh, this is Rourke's Drift. So you've got, it's the, it's the farm. And so you've got the medical zone. And this is what, this is what you'd see in that movie. And you'll have various strength points of Zulu surrounding you coming in in all the different zones. And if you look, the zones are numbered, zone seven. And this is zone K, so we've got letters in here, numbers out here. And then you're just going to get surrounded, they're going to move up, and you'll be trying to defend, 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 basically, and try and hold out. Um, these big counters are so cool on a map this big. This is a really nice production. This is very big, obviously. Um, but, you know, you'll have a lot of space. This is just a very nice product uh, for doing that. You won't be crammed in. It's nice to have... Some just some room and to have something look nice when you're playing it solo. And this is Isan Moana. This was um it was a I think it was a British camp, right? And then uh oh I don't exactly know how and where. I watched a documentary on it, but basically the Zulus um employed some very, very clever battle tactics and you know, just completely outwitted what the uh, what the British generals thought was going to happen, and it, you know it was this multi-pronged attack, and and how it, they were basically enveloped, absolutely crushing uh, victory for them. But that's that's this. So this looks a bit more of a bit more. I don't know how to maneuver with how the spaces are, but this is an open battlefield. The other one is just defend, defend, defend in this kind of stronghold. Um, so the last thing, and we'll talk about this here. This is really, really nice. I, there's not a lot of war games that come with a custom-made um, tray insert. GMT obviously makes their own ones, so do DVG. Um, Lock and Load started doing them, but this is a custom one just for this version of the game. And if you look, we got these Zulus, and they're just going to slot into these spaces, and you can line them up with the different values, however well you want to organize those. Um, and it does come with a bunch of dice, red and black, sealed for freshness. We have five, six ciders each. These are fairly chunky dice as well, which is nice. They've got nice bold pips on them. These are, these are for being rounded dice, these are actually very nice. I like those a lot. Those are going to be fun to play with. But that's, that's the game. It is a, it is, it's a reissue. This game has been around for a while, but this is a much um, kind of nicer, sturdier, this is really cool tray as well. Just a bumper version of it. Even the inside of the lid of the box has more artwork in it. I just think that's a really neat touch. Um, so this is Victoria Cross 2. And this is the new deluxe edition from Worthington. This is available now. I had been holding off on getting this game just because it was... You know, you had to get it on the second hand market and it was an older game and a lot of people like it to want to part with it so... This was reissued in a nice bumper edition. Very, very excited. Couldn't be happier. So check that out on their website if this is something you're interested in. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com.